Hi friends, I'm Joel Korleski, the super brave teacher, or as I like to call myself these days, the wabi-sabi teacher. Pop quiz, what are the things you can do to support the super brave teacher? Yep. Did you just say like this channel? You are awesome! What else? Subscribe? Oh yeah! Tell three fr five friends you're gonna tell five friends about the super brave teacher? Yeah! You are awesome! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! So Keep friends, it up. there's something you need to know about me. Something very important. I am very tactile. I love tactile things. I love touching things. And I love just all the senses. I'm that person who, when I get a book, I touch it, I touch it, I touch it. I love paper. I smell books. I love it. And I just got this book from the library and I read the whole thing. And it's called Wabi Sabi Welcome. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with certain things that take parts of other cultures and make it mainstream. So I understand that me talking about something, especially from a beautiful tradition like Japanese tradition, something like wabi-sabi, is taking something and it's kind of watering it down. And my guess is if you are watching this and you are Japanese or you really understand Japanese culture, you are thinking, you're rolling your eyes and thinking, ugh, why is he talking about this? But I also think that we have to start somewhere. So I'm starting somewhere and this book fascinates me and I just love, it says learning to embrace the imperfect and entertain with thoughtfulness and ease. And it takes you around Japan and all over the place, California and France and Denmark and all these beautiful places where they just find beauty in the simplicity and they find beauty in the imperfection and they find, they make things beautiful out of things that are imperfect. And I just thought that with this busy holiday week, I was gonna keep these videos short and I was just gonna tell myself, remember the things you know. Like, I, I keep learning and I keep learning and I keep learning, but I think that it keeps coming back to what I already know, which is keep it simple. Have meals that are just simple. Enjoy company with friends. Find the perfect and the imperfect. I love having plants in the house and I love just taking care of them and seeing them go through seasons. Like this plant that's in all of these videos, like it keeps growing and growing and falling sometimes and I have to like prop it up. But that's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And this plant that I have, it used to be like this big. I started doing therapy back in Chicago and it was this big and I bought it at a Whole Foods for like six bucks and it's grown so much and the leaves get brown sometimes but it keeps growing and it keeps plugging along and I just think that right now especially as a teacher as an educator as a super brave gay teacher I need to remind myself that I don't need to be perfect and that in fact we've talked about it before my flaws my imperfections are what make me me. And that's actually beautiful. Like, even just this morning, I had this plan of like, how I was gonna get everything done and I was just gonna check things off the list and be able to be really extra present with the kids. And I'm like, when you get this done, then you can be present. But think about that. Like, I was gonna like, plan, like dedicate four intense hours of getting things done for and with the kids so that I could enjoy the rest of the week with them instead of just being present already and enjoying the imperfections enjoying those moments with the kids. So friends, we keep it short. I see the time going. You are imperfect. And that's awesome. I'm imperfect. And that's awesome. That is what makes us extra unique and special and valuable. So let's be mindful of our imperfections. Let's be wabi-sabi people. Let's be wabi-sabi teachers and learners and encouragers and people who are just curious with each other and each other's imperfections and let's spread some loving radical kindness and acceptance for all people and not view these imperfections our imperfections as a bad thing but a blessing and a sign and just all these beautiful things and i'm getting along again because i really just want to say you are awesome. You're awesome. Thanks for being you. You are enough. You are sufficient. You are worthy, especially because you have these beautiful imperfections. Keep being you. And I'm going to say to myself, like, how he's doing. I hard times sometimes. Joel, 
you are imperfect. And that's okay. I love you. <laughs>